Hey friends, welcome back to another video. So as I mentioned in a previous get ready with me, I'm going to do some Nordstrom anniversary sale content. Now I know that won't apply to everybody on this who watches this channel if you're not in the United States or I know some people in the UK shop the sale, but I have been shopping the sale for years and years and years and I love it. So I thought I would share kind of what I'm looking at, but also some recommendations for those of you, if you've never shopped the sale, it's a great time to pick up things that are coming for the fall, but they're on sale before they actually even come out. So if you're, I guess I should start, if you're not familiar with the Nordstrom anniversary sale, it is basically fall items that Nordstrom puts on sale before the season starts. So, you know, normally when you think about a sale, you think about things at the end of the season, right? When they're trying to get rid of them. This is actually before they even hit the store, which is kind of cool. So it's great for, you know, moms, if you're shopping for back to school for your kiddos, it's great for you if you're, like I said, just wanting to stock up on some basics or things that you might need for the fall. They have great home products, great beauty, lots of things to choose from. I pretty much shop from the entire store during the sale. Uh, but yeah, so I thought I would go through kind of some, you know, recommendations, not necessarily things that I'm going to be buying because I've definitely bought most of these things in the past. And then I'll also take you through my wish list. Now, a couple things. One, if you really want something, you should place an order online just to be delivered to your home. Don't do the in-store pickup. They've definitely gotten better with this, but if it's something that you really want, I wouldn't necessarily rely on them pulling that item in a timely manner, especially if it's a, going to be a very popular item. So whenever is the first day that you can shop, you know, depending on which level you are with Nordstrom based on your card level, or if you don't have a card and you're just shopping when the anniversary sale is open to the public, whenever you can shop, like I said, I would shop as early as I can. And then I would also, like I said, get anything that you absolutely cannot live without, order it online to be delivered. Number two, <laughs> I guess I've already said it, which is shop early. <laughs> so, you know, whatever day is the first day that you can shop, I would highly recommend it. I am lucky that I get to shop the very first day of the sale. I am an icon. So I get to shop before anybody else gets to shop on the 11th. And I will have all of the dates listed in the description box below of who can shop when. But the preview is live on the website right now. So you can absolutely go on. And my recommendation is that you wish list. So click on the little wish list heart and set up some wish some set up some wish lists. You know, like I tend to do it like well, I usually make one big wish list and then I will divide it as you'll kind of see, I haven't done this yet, but I'll have like must haves, second tier, maybe, you know, so kind of some different levels of things that I like, I'm like, okay, I have to get these things. And that those are sort of the things that I like will order first. And like I said, for online, just get in, dump it in your cart and move on. And then, like I said, I have sort of some tiers down. And then I'll have a wish list for Hannah. I'll have a wish list for Nick. I'll have probably a wish list of things that I want to get for David. Um, Morgan's birthday is in July, so I almost always shop anniversary sale to get her some birthday items. So I'll do some of that. But make sure that you save all of your items that you're interested in to your wish list because then it's really easy when the sale opens to you to shop to just literally, it's one click of, you know, move items to cart and check out, which is why I tend to do those like kind of tiered lists of must have, because I'll go and I'll check out with that first set of items first to make sure that I get those because I know they're going to be super popular. I've seen other influencers talk about them, etc. or I just know it's going to be popular. And so I'll check out with those first. And then the other thing that's great about putting it on a wish list is that if it sells out before you get a chance to shop, Nordstrom will notify you when it's back in stock. If you don't put it on a wish list and it sells out, you will no longer be able to see the item online and you won't be able to get a notification about it. So 
my number one recommendation is, like I said, set up a wish list. Doesn't mean anything except that you know it's something you're interested in. And then, like I said, if it sells out ahead of time, you can always see it still, even though like if you went and searched for it on the website, you wouldn't be able to find it. And also you'll get the notification of when it comes back in stock. And a lot of things do come back in stock. You guys, I definitely over shop the beginning of the sale and then things come and I will return things. Like I just went through Nick's stuff with him. Like we set up his wish list, and there are a bunch of things that I'm going to order for him, but he may not like when he, when we get them and he's going to camp. So he's not even going to be able to try these things on until after the Nordstrom sale is even done, but at least I have them and then I can return them. You guys know if you've shopped with Nordstrom at all, they have a fantastic return policy. It's kind of basically whenever you want to return it. I mean, I've definitely returned items that I found in my closet from like two years previous anniversary sale and they take it back with no questions asked. So like I said, not trying to encourage anyone to overspend, but I would say that if you are thinking about an item, you're probably better off ordering it, getting it home, seeing what you think, trying it on, trying it with some of the other items in your closet, etc., and then making a decision and you can always return. So having said that, a lot of items will come back in stock. They'll either come back in stock because somebody returned it or it'll come back in stock because they've restocked. Now, the other thing I would say is that if you're not sure about sizes, I would also recommend ordering both sizes. So if you're not sure if you're a medium or a large, order both, and then you can return the one that doesn't work. Or, you know, if you're not sure whether you're a six or an eight in these pair of jeans, again, order both. You can return the one that doesn't work. So I am obviously super casual here. I just threw some makeup on, but I haven't done my hair. It's still up from you know, having taken a shower and it's 4th of July and it's hot. So I'm just sitting here in a tank top and my linen shorts. I have a shirt that I'm going to throw on over this when we go out, but I just thought I would try to get this recorded and up for you guys as soon as possible. So you can start prepping your wish lists along with me. So let me screen record and I will show you some of, like I said, my recommendations if you haven't shopped the sale before, and then I'll take you through my wish list. Okay, so you're seeing my screen now. Generally, the way I go through the anniversary sale, the preview is sort of section by section. So I'll start with women's, I will start with clothing, I will start with jeans. And I will go through all the jeans and, you know, wish list anything that I'm interested in, etc. And I'll go back and I'll move on to sweaters and I'll do the same thing with sweaters. Doing it all in one, like just going through the entire website item by item when it's not like divided up would be a nightmare. So I would highly recommend that you do that. So you'll kind of see, like you can tell like how I went through this. Now this is in reverse order of how I did it. So you, know, you can see kind of what I went through. So the first thing you're seeing here is this Nordstrom uh, bliss throw blanket. And this is a great staple. We have a million of these in our house. They are a great price on anniversary sale. They're less than 20 bucks. They are super, super soft. My kids have each one, you know, that they use on their bed. We've got ones in our like blanket basket that we use in the living room for the couches and things. And, you know, it's, it's a very price friendly blanket. These are great to throw like in your sort of gift closet. You know, it's great for a grad. It's great for, you know, a housewarming present. So if you just want to buy a couple of extra ones in neutral colors, you can see here, they come in one, two, three, four, six colors. They actually come in more colors than that. I don't know if not all of them are being shown here, but I mean, could they come in, I think like 15 colors normally. So I'm guessing that they will all be on anniversary sale, but right now they're only showing these six. But my point is they're great to stock up on for like any gift that you might need in the future. So that is a great one. All right, the next are these Zella Live-In Pocket Joggers. Now Zella is a house brand to Nordstrom, so you'll probably see this quite a bit, especially in their activewear section. Anna really likes some of the Zella pieces. They have them in kid sizes as well. These live-in pocket joggers are great. Um, they've gone up a little bit. I think when they first started carrying them on the sale, they were $39.99. Now they're up to $42.99. They have them in this kind of gray color. And then, of course, black. I have them in several different colors. They come in more colors than this normally. But obviously, these two are what apparently are going to be on anniversary sale. But they're a really lightweight 
um, I don't want to say dressy <laughs> jogger. They're not dressy, but you can definitely dress them up a little bit. I mean, you can throw them on with like a blazer and some sneakers and a t-shirt or whatever and look very pulled together. So highly recommend these linen pocket joggers. Next up is this one button knit blazer by Kazlan. Now this is interesting. This is a, a similar style to something that they carried every year in the anniversary sale for a long, long time. I have several of them in my closet. Normally it's like a kind of a waterfall though front with no button. So they've changed it up a little bit this year, but it's the same exact fit and it's a cotton. It's a great throw on if you've got a zoom call and you just, you know, like with I have on right now, like with a tank top, you can just throw it on over, you look pulled together, you know, from the waist up kind of thing. And that's generally when I wear them, but they're a cotton knit. So they're a lightweight, they're great for spring and summer, but you can certainly transition them into the fall. And like I said, great piece to have in your closet. They've got you know, at least right now, five colors that are going to be on the anniversary sale. So would highly recommend, like I said, this is kind of a little new updated version with the button. Okay. If you don't have a leather moto jacket in your closet yet, this one I think is a great option. First of all, it is genuine leather for $199, which is an amazing price. I have touched this. I actually do believe I own this jacket. Not hundred percent sure because most of my stuff like this is in storage. Um, but what I love about it is you can see here in the first picture is that it has this hood. So it looks like you're wearing a hoodie underneath that's layered underneath your leather jacket, but it's not really a full hoodie. It's just basically kind of the front zip part and then the hood. And so you can unzip that and take it out and then it just becomes your classic leather moto jacket. So it's really a two in one. We love a good two fur here. And like I said, for 199 bucks, it is very versatile and I would highly recommend. Like I said, the leather is a very good quality. It's super soft. It's got great drape. Like I said, definitely a recommendation. All right. If you're looking for a sort of a different style of jean, I really like these itty bitty boot cuts by Wit & Wisdom. I love the Wit & Wisdom brand. They're a very, very affordable price point, especially on the anniversary sale. I already have this, so this, again, is not something I'm going to be ordering, but something I would just thought I would bring up to you. It's a great wash, this particular pair. It's clean. It's definitely a pair of denim that you can dress up. So it looks great with a pair of heels. It looks great with, you know, an ankle booty or, you know, with a wedge or chunk heel. Just a great jean to have in your wardrobe. You'll see I have another pair of Wit & Wisdom coming up later. I moved some items that were on my wish list that I ordered last year that were still on my wish list. I moved those into this cart so they're kind of in on the end. But So you'll see some other Wit & Wisdom coming up. Here are a couple dresses that I thought would be interesting. I don't generally shop a whole lot of dresses for the sale just because I don't really have an opportunity to wear them, but I thought this was a classic piece. This is the Pilar Mixed Media mixed media long sleeve dress. I love that it's got these sheer, you know, it's kind of a sheer bodice, but it has obviously an underpinning attached to it. And then it does have this defined waist and then sort of a pencil skirt type bottom. So I think this is great. It's a good price at $118 and just a classic little black dress. Next up is this metallic paisley ruffle long sleeve dress by Julia Jordan. Julia Jordan has a lot of dresses in the sale, but I thought this color combination I thought was really pretty and it's just, you know, it's just above the knee. So it's, you know, definitely modest enough, I think, for the over 40, 50 crowd. I would feel very comfortable wearing this dress, but I just think it is super pretty and very feminine. And like I said, you could use the tie belt that comes with it. You could throw your own belt on with it, but just an easy throw on and go dress. Another great kind of classic dress. This comes in three different colors. The black one is selected right here, but they also have it in this camel and they also have it in a deep teal, but this is a sweater dress by French Connection. I believe they had this dress last year, but I like this kind of sort of fit and flare style of it. It's a faux wrap dress. As you can see, I'm pretty sure it's a faux. Yeah, it's a faux wrap sweater dress. So, you know, you don't have to worry about it coming open. The skirt is, you know, one full thing, but I love the little tie detail and, you know, it comes to a decent length. It is a little bit A-line, so you've got a little movement there. Like I said, I think a classic 
dress. It also comes here, as you can see, in this camel and then also this teal, which is really pretty. Okay, I've got several tops here. I'm not going to click on all of them, but CC is a great brand. Again, if you work from home or even if you work in an office and you need some good work tops, I think these are some great options and they're at a pretty affordable price point, especially on the sale. I have several of these in my closet. I definitely have this uh, blue one, although I'm not sure. I, have, I do think I do have it in the blue, but it's this, you know, sort of a puffed sleeve and it's got the Swiss dot on it really cute. I like this one. This is more of a plain front one. And all of these come in multiple colors, by the way. You don't need to just pick what I have here. But this is uh, in magenta glow, but I like the detail on the kind of on the puffed sleeve. And I think it's more of just sort of a cotton front. And then this one over here on the right is one that I do have in my closet. It is a black, sort of a crepey material for the body. And then the sleeves are sheer with that floral print. And then they've got elastic at the cuff, as you can see. Really, really pretty option. As you can see, they're all $45.99. And like I said, if you're looking for something for the office, these I think are perfect. So Nordstrom started partnering with Reese. I think this is the third year that Reese will be available in some items with the anniversary sale. They used to always have that uh, their sort of infamous wrap coat. I did not see that this year, but I thought that this blue silk button-up shirt was stunning for Reese. Now, obviously it is a higher price point, but as you can see, it would be 295 after the sale and it's 220 on the sale, which I think is a great price, but I just think this blue is a beautiful, beautiful color. So rich, jewel tone, love it. This halogen open front long line cardigan, again, is a staple for the sale. They've had it for years and years and years. I've had mine for years and years, a um, couple different sizes, but um, you know, you can see here, they've got five different colors, navy, black, wine, gray, and a sort of a camel color, but it's just open front. There are no buttons, but it just gives you a really long lean look. And again, I think, you know, when I got mine, maybe they were $49.99 at the time. They're up to $51.99 now. But like I said, staple for the sale. Highly recommend. This Treasure and Bond turtleneck sweater, again, just kind of another staple piece in your closet. You can see it comes in this beautiful burgundy color, but it also comes in black, in ivory, and then this rust pecan color, which is a great fall color. If you're sort of an autumn toned person, that would be beautiful. But just like I said, a great basic at $39.99. All right, this Ottoman Salchi tunic by Free People. Again, another Nordstrom anniversary staple. They always have this item in the sale. It comes in four different colors. There's this kind of pretty nutmeg color, which I don't know if it really looks nutmeg to me. It looks a little more sort of uh, kind of a blush pink. Not even blush pink. I don't even know what this color is. But anyway, it comes in black too and an ecru sort of an ivory and then this wine color so again a staple it's just a really oversized you know thing to throw on over leggings or over skinny jeans even though we're not supposed to be wearing skinny jeans anymore definitely size down in this it definitely runs oversized so would highly recommend sizing down one if maybe not two all right, a couple here. I'm not again. I'm not going to click on these. You can tell what they are, but some great basics. If you need some, you know, a new white T-shirt or something, you know, you, white T-shirts kind of have to replace every season. But you know, if you're looking for a great long sleeve shirt to layer under things in the fall, this halogen one is a great option. Again, it comes in like a bazillion colors for $25.99, and then I love this Caslon one with the V-neck. It's a little bit slouchy. I wouldn't say it's necessarily oversized, but it's, you know, it's not a slim fit that the long sleeve one is more of a follow the lines of your body. The Caslon t-shirt, you know, short sleeve t-shirt v-neck is, you know, more of your kind of standard t-shirt. But again, just great prices on the anniversary sale. So if you need some t-shirt, you know, some of yours are kind of looking a little worn and old and you want to donate those, get some new ones. The anniversary sale is a great time to stock up on those.
All right, now let's move into some beauty products. Now, these are things that I will tell you that I use. To me, they are tried and true. So I have absolutely no qualms in recommending them. I always buy this Charlotte Tilbury Eye Cream Duo. I know that my other duo, I ran out when we moved here and I know I have this refill one. So it's basically you get the one in the pot and then you get this refill that comes with it that you then plop into the container once you've gone through. And that one is packed, which really annoyed me because basically I kind of go through one of these a year. Same with this Bobby, ba Bobby Brown face space. Again, amazing. And both of these things are essentially buy one, get one free. So if you bought one of the Bobby Brown face spaces, they're generally $66. So you're getting two for the same price. Again, great products. And I essentially go through one of these a year. So I'll buy one every year. If you uh, have not tried Tom Ford products, I would highly recommend this set. It's got two of their mini lipsticks and then a very neutral eyeshadow quad. Tom Ford's eyeshadows are amazing. I think, if I remember correctly, they're close to $88, I think, just on their own. So you're essentially getting the lipsticks for free. So a great time to try Tom Ford. Westman Atelier is another product that I absolutely love. I love these like face sticks. You can use them as blush. You can use them as highlighter. You can use them on your eyes, on your lips, etc. And this is a great way to try the product. It comes with both of these sticks for $40. This Charlotte Tilbury finishing spray is like a cult favorite. I'm sure there are TikToks on this. <laughs> I haven't checked, but I, I would certainly believe that there would be. Anyway, again, this is sort of a buy one, get one free kind of thing. These might be like $48 normally. I can't remember how much I paid the last time I bought them, but I will definitely be buying these because like I said, it's essentially a two for one. So a great time to stock up. The L'Occitan hand cream. Again, what I love about this set is you get the full size, so you could leave that at home, and then you've got these little baby ones that you can stick in your purse, which is fantastic. If you love L'Occitane and you are a fan of their, I think it's the almond flavor body showered oil, which just leaves your body like silky smooth and hydrated coming out of the shower, this, you get this full size and then you get a refill again, sort of a buy one, get one free for $49. Now, I cannot vouch for the Donna Karen uh, deodorant, but I know, again, it is a cult favorite. It has been in the sale for years and years and years. So it is clearly a popular item and you get three for $72. If you are looking for a Dyson Airwrap, they do have this one. On the sale, it's $599. I don't know that if it's any necessarily bargain, but I think this is an exclusive like color to Nordstrom. So if you've been looking for one and you know get your points from Nordstrom, you might as well buy it here and you you know use one of your double points days and you'll end up getting however many points times two. So great one. This Oribe um Texturizing spray, again, is another cult favorite. It has been in the sale also for years and years. Usually it's the texturizing spray and something else as a duo. This is actually a duo of the texturizing spray by itself for $74. Again, another great deal. If you love Tom Ford fragrances or if you've been looking to try one, this one is the Rose Prick fragrance. You get the regular size and then you get this really cute travel size that comes in the atomizer and you can refill those which is great uh if you have not tried any of the maison francis kirkchen fragrances uh i love fluidity gold um or gentle fluidity gold there's also gentle fluidity silver i prefer the gold um everyone loves baccarat rouge 540 I have the um, A La Rose one. Anyway, tons of different fragrances. This is a sampler, so it's a great way to try a lot of the different um, MFK fragrances and see which one is your favorite. Of course, you know that I'm going to recommend Delina. So there is this gift set from Perfumes to Marley in the Delina fragrance. It comes with a full-size bottle. It comes with a shower gel, which I love. A little bit goes a long way. And then it also comes with the dry body oil. So great gift set, great value. I think this 
perfume alone is probably close to $300. So definitely getting a good value here for $355. This Simple Human Rose Gold Mirror I also own. It's packed in storage right now, but hands down one of the best mirrors. I love that it like just comes on automatically when it has like a motion sensor. So when you get close to it, it comes on. You just plug it in and charge it and it will last for, it usually lasts me for close to like a month and then I just recharge it but I love it. It has a great magnification mirror that comes with it. Just it, it's, and it's non-distorted, just a great mirror to have if you don't have one already. This little Ricky Loves Ricky mirror, there's some other little, um, other Ricky Loves Ricky mirrors in the sale if you want a bigger thing, but this I think is new to the sale and I think it's so cute. It's supposedly the size of an iPhone, so it would be great to take with you in your purse. You can see it's $111. It's all sparkly on the outside and of course it's got the trademark Ricky Loves Ricky lights on the side, so it'd be a great, you know, like I said, mirror to take either for travel or to throw in your purse when you're out. I really like these rag and bone tennis shoes. They do come in a couple of different colors. They've got the retro blue, the sequoia, and then this gray. I have actually the gray ones in my wish list, but I'm just showing you here with the macadamia. But if you're looking for kind of a little bit of a dressier sneaker, um, you know, you don't want to wear your Nikes or whatever, you you know, you want it to actually complete an outfit kind of thing, but you don't want to spend like Chanel or Loewe or, you know, Fendi designer shoe prices or Louis Vuitton. I think this is a really nice option. They're suede. They're, you know, a really good looking sneaker style and a good price on the sale. All right. These uh, Nordstrom Cubic Zirconia you know, diamond looking earrings again are, have been on the sale for years and years. They come in different sizes. I don't remember what this particular size is. It might be the four carat total maybe. So two carat in each ear. I think they come in like, you know, one carat, two carat, three carat, four carat, I mean, a whole bunch of different sizes. So you can pick what you want. Again, make great gifts. They're really pretty. And especially if you're traveling and you don't want to take good jewelry with you, this is a great option. Speaking of travel, here is a Longchamp uh, travel like duffel bag on sale, normally $265 on sale with Nordstrom at $189.99. So it does come with a shoulder, removable shoulder strap, so you can you know carry it on your shoulder easily, or you could obviously put it on the top of your rolling luggage. This Kate Spade New York tote again has been on the sale for years. It's a classic. You're looking for a work tote or you know something to take commuting whatever it is and you don't want to again spend sort of never full prices or something you know more high designer price this for 199 dollars it's full leather would be a great option i thought this little olga berg i've never heard of this brand but this silver like chain mail um crystal bag with the circle sort of bracelet top handle really gave me Jimmy Choo bonbon bag vibes for $52.99. So yeah, like I said, just kind of a fun bag to add to your collection to just, you know, a great evening out bag, that kind of thing. And then this Simon Miller bag, again, gives me Bottega vibes, especially in this sort of metallic pink, reminds me of that, uh, the one that Cassie Thorpe has, obviously hers is in the green. Um, I'm trying to remember what the name of the fabric is called, but anyway, like I said, just for $220 versus whatever the Bottega one is probably over 2000 again, kind of look for less. And then here's the other pair of Witten Wisdom jeans that I'm talking about. I own this pair. It is great. I love it. It's a, uh, girlfriend style, I think is the, the actual name, um, in this blue, there's a tiny bit of distressing, but nothing huge. So like I said, very comfortable. They do stretch a little bit when you wear them. So you might want to think about sizing down one because um, they do definitely give as you wear them. And then a couple of other home items. Again, these I've bought as gifts for people. I actually think I bought both of these items last year uh, as a graduation gift. So the first is this sort of cheese board and then here is a set which we actually own these coasters as well they are marble and it's a set of four for 19.99 so some great like i said 
potential gift closet options or if you just need some for your own home. Okay, and last and not least, I'm going to really quickly scroll through. This is my wish list. So again, I have not like subcategorized these yet. I will go through this, you know, probably in another couple days before I send it to the uh, personal shopper that's going to be working with us next week so that he can pull a lot of these items. But like I said, I will kind of put these in different tiers as to like what I absolutely, absolutely, absolutely want to get and then bring it down from there. But just so you know, you can see I've got some home things on here thinking about when the condo finally gets finished. We definitely need some kitchen towels, so I have those. This actually is a potential gift for Morgan. She loves to bake, and so I threw that on here. I always seem to not have a good size bowl when I make salad for the family. Like I have like some really big ones, so you know, if I'm like feeding like 10 people. But for the four of us, I don't need something that big. So this wooden bowl, I thought might be a good option. It does come in two different sizes. This one is the smaller size. I think it's the 11 inch. I am thinking about updating our bedding. Again, our actual bedding, our, our duvet comforter is in storage. Again, I just, it was like one less thing I needed to bring here. So like what you see in the background, that's actually our blanket. Um, but anyway, I'm looking at this bowl and branch uh, white and pewter. I just think it's very clean looking and yeah, I thought it would look good with our, our gray silver bed frame that we have again in storage. That's not, that's Nick's mattress as our headboard right now. Uh, this cut from the cloth moto jacket has been in the sale a bazillion times. I love the color of this particular one. So I thought I would try this. This is another great option. If you don't have one, it's kind of a suede feeling um, fabric, very drapey and uh, moves with the body. So another great option. This uh, cut from the cloth pair of jeans I'm looking at, another pair of Witten Wisdom. I'm kind of looking for a washed black or kind of gray pair. Another, so this CC dress uh, is got a little flounce hem on it and it has like that, the sheer sleeves with, I think it's got the Swiss dot on it, but it's sort of like their tops, but they added a skirt to the bottom of it and made it into a dress. So thought I'd try it. We'll see. This waif um, faux wrap sweater I thought looked really pretty. I loved the kind of puffed sleeves and we'll have to see how low the neckline is. They do show it um, in the little video that they have. The person who's showing it from Nordstrom actually has it like with a tank top on kind of like this and sort of sitting off the shoulders it does come I think in four colors so we'll see what I come back with if I like that thought this you know BP just it's a sw zip sweater was kind of look, put, looked cool so again a lot of these I'm just going to try on whether I end up coming home with them we'll see this is a great deal for Olaplex if you use Olaplex would highly like, recommend getting your shampoo and conditioner here Nordstrom is a great place to stock up during the anniversary sale on large sizes. And that being said, I'm going to come down here and show you these Jo Malone um, hand soaps. We, I basically bought this exact same set last year, and it has essentially lasted us an entire year. So we moved with these here. So I had one in the guest bath and in our guest half bath downstairs at the house and then I had the other one at the kitchen sink and like I said we are literally just going through it in fact David asked he's like can we get more of that hand soap and he found some on Amazon that was a by the way it was a total scam it said it came with four. anyway it was not a good value and I'm like no 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 I guess it's an anniversary sale oh. but we are just getting through we've got like this much left of the one bottle I don't remember which one uh, I'm thinking about getting these diptyque fragrances. One is Fleur de Peau, which I love, and then two are another two that I would like to try. So again, a great way to try some different fragrances. And I have been waiting to get this wide um, plate GHD straightener because I would like to use it to use to curl my hair because I use my regular one to curl, but I think the two inch will be better. Plus I can just do it faster if I want to straighten my hair and it's on anniversary sale so very excited about that and I am going to get the new face I'm going to get the mini one though I don't think that the Trinity the big size original version is really worth it um, because I don't change out the top the top parts of it so 
the mini is the exact same like strength and wattage it's just in a smaller format and you can't change out the heads on it it's just the microcurrent but i'm looking forward to adding that to my sort of um, beauty tool regimen and here are those like i said the rag and bone sneakers that i was talking about getting them in the gray I've got several pair of sunglasses that you see here, three pair from Celine, one pair from Fendi. Again, just wanna try them. Probably will only end up, like I said, with one of those. And there was quite a bit of Monica Vinader in the sale this time, uh, including the necklace that I have, as well as, um, they don't have the ring though that I got, but I'm gonna try this ring. Thought these uh, earrings by Jenny Bird had a very similar uh, Tiffany hardware look to them for at a much more reasonable price of $60.99. So again, thought I'd try it. Now that I am walking in the city and we have inclement weather that I have to walk through, I think I might add a pair of Hunter boots, but I don't know that I really want the tall ones because then you're having to like wear them with either leggings or skinny jeans or something. If I get this more sort of Chelsea boot style, I think it will go with more things. Here is the Steve Madden slide. They have these every year. They get updated just a tiny bit, you know, sort of this chain detail on the front. It'll, it gets tweaked, like I said, every year, but they're a great pair of shoes, great price. Um, and I missed out on them in the black last year because I didn't get them. And then I regretted not getting them. And then they were sold out of my size. So getting them this year. Uh, threw in a couple of these Zella just long sleeve t-shirts. Again, just something more casual to throw on. I don't have a lot of like casual long sleeve shirts, so I thought that would be nice. Um, this Zell zip up, zip up hoodie. Again, just something to throw on. This Sweaty Betty cropped um, freak or half zip reminded me a lot of the Lululemon version for a much cheaper price. It's about half the price of the Lululemon one. So I, again, thought I'd give it a try. It may not be the same. I may not like it, but thought it was worth trying. And then I always get some pajamas from the uh, Moonlight, I think it's Moonlight Dreams, Moonlight something. And I will tell you, I have bought the ones from Target. And as far as the fabric is concerned, it really is a great dupe and they're a great price at Target but I will tell you that they shrink. And I don't mean shrink in like size, but the length. So the shirts now, instead of, you can kind of see like where this shirt comes on the model here. The, the Target ones will start out this length and then it's basically like right at the waistband. Like it, sh it, it shrinks so much in length and it just, it bugs the crap out of me. So I'm gonna like donate those and restock with these just stick with the OG. They're OG for a reason. So you can see I've got a bunch of those in here in different sleeve lengths and, you know, colors and whatever. I thought this pink was really pretty. That, that I think is new. I'm going to try the Barefoot Dreams set. I feel like I've tried it before and I didn't really love the pants. So again, we'll try it on, see what we think. Um, I really am interested in trying on these Top Shop. They are a pleated short so more of a dressy short which i thought would be kind of nice to dress up here's one of those cc tops again i threw it on my own list because i thought this you know pink would be pretty it'd be great to wear for filming and then i didn't put this on the recommendations for you guys but these rails shirts are amazing whether you're talking about their hunter plaid ones they are so so soft it is like a texture that you've never felt before it's amazing and the drape is incredible it is not your you know dad's or husband's plaid shirt it is just it's got this incredible drape to it and then this is the ellis shirt that you see here in the gray um, it does come in some other colors i already own the white and the sort of chambray blue so i thought this would be a great addition i would definitely recommend sizing up one size in these shirts especially if you are busty and then here was an all saints um sweater again chalk it's got sort of a funnel neck a short funnel neck i thought that would be nice to try again it's a little bit of a more spendy piece but again i already have a lot of basics and i have a lot of the stuff in the sale that has been in the sale for years and years so kind of looking for some different things which brings me to some other jeans that I'm going to try here. I thought these cargo pants from BP would be fun. Cargo pants are totally in right now. I've got a couple pair already. 
Um, here's some cut from the cloth jeans, which I love is another great brand that I like to buy during the sale as where as well as these OG, excuse me, AG jeans. Um, this Zell jacket is supposed to be weatherproof or, you know, waterproof. So I thought that would be great to add, um, especially again, being in the city and wanting something in the inclement weather. And then this Avec Lafay plaid jacket just kind of gave me that, I think it was, was it like the Balenciaga blanket coat or something that was so, so popular a couple years ago and sold out like all over, but you know, it, clearly it's different colors, but I just thought it would be, again, fun to try. And I think maybe this Zell one is also weatherproof. I don't know, threw them both in there. And then we've got, you know, I am a blazer girl at heart. So threw in this treasure and bond oversized gray and white kind of checked blazer. I don't have anything in this kind of combination. So I thought I would try that. Uh, this Nick and Zoe uh, tweed sort of cropped, a little more cropped jacket very Chanel vibes, but for a much more affordable price. And then this CC jacket, again, don't know if it's going to end up coming home with me, but I loved the puffed sleeve. I like the details on it. So this is new to the sale. I thought I would give that a try. And then finally is this blank noir. Let me show you this because it's, you have to see the details on it and I'll show it to you in the cream color so you can really see it. So it has like these insets a faux leather that you can see and it's got a hood and I just thought that was really a cool detail. It does say that it runs small so to order up one size. I have tried a different version of this blank noir uh, jacket in the past and I will, I can confirm that it does run small so definitely size up which is why I've got the extra large in on my wish list. But yeah I just think it looks really cool and I love the details on it and it's a scuba knit so it's kind of dressy but casual and just, you know, thought it'd be great to try. So we'll let you know how that goes. So that is it, guys, um, at least for my anniversary sale picks. I didn't show you Nyx and uh, Hannah hasn't done hers yet. We haven't had a chance to sit down, but I hope you enjoyed some of the recommendations that I have for you all. Like I said, if you haven't shopped the sale or just some things that are tried and true and a great time to get them because they are on sale. If you have any questions for me about the Nordstrom anniversary sale, please feel free to drop a comment uh, down below and I'll be happy to answer. Like I said, I've been shopping the sale for years and years and years. And um, also, by the way, this is not sponsored. Like Nordstrom has no idea who I am. I just, like I said, love the anniversary sale. So I thought I would make some content. Um, Hannah and I are shopping in person in the store on the 11th, which is the first day that um, anybody can shop. Not anybody, but it's the first day that people can shop the sale. So if you're an icon, icons shop on the 11th. So we are excited to be able to do that and to do that at the flagship store here, which is way bigger than our Nordstrom was in Kansas City. So excited about that and excited to work with Colson is his name, who is going to help us. So I will definitely vlog that as much as I can and show you the store and what it looks like and obviously show you some try-ons with both myself and Hannah. So stay tuned next week for that video. I will try to get it edited and up on the morning of the 12th as quickly as I can, but no promises, but I will certainly try. So thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It does help the YouTube algorithm. And if you haven't subscribed, we would love it if you would do so. We are getting closer to 2,000 subscribers, and I'm trying to hit that milestone before my one-year anniversary here on YouTube, which is in about another six weeks or so. So if you can help me out with that, I would really appreciate it. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you know when I upload videos, especially in the midst of this Nordstrom anniversary content, so you know when I'm uploading new hauls and, and that sort of thing. And wherever you are, I hope you are having an amazing day or evening, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye, guys.